Hi there everybody, thank you for tuning in. I'm making this video in response to a few questions I've had recently regarding a program I use called Windows Movie Maker. Now this program is a video editor that gives you basic tools to edit and add a level of professionalism to any video you might want to or add some flair to some videos maybe if you're uploading to YouTube or something. Now this um, this program, Windows Movie Maker, is a free program offered by Microsoft. You can download it off their site. All you have to do is Google search Windows Movie Maker, download it, and it's super, super user friendly. It's uh, probably one of the most user friendly programs I've ever used, ever, anywhere. It's phenomenal. Cool thing about it too is if you have a Google account, you can uh, log in with it, and then you can uh, upload any video you might want to upload to YouTube or you know any most other sites straight through this program so it's fairly nice in that respect now this has a lot of a lot of benefits it's free it's got some basic uh, basic editing tools some different things you can do transitions stuff like that but one big gripe that a lot of people have and that I had for the longest time when I first started using it is that when you import a file or import a video into this editor uh, a lot of times you're gonna have what's called um, or it does a process called preparing the video and essentially it's turning the video in, or it's formatting a video into a format that will help make the editing process very smooth. Um, now it's completely un unnecessary. I've uh, used the non-prepared uh, version of videos and edited them just fine. There's realistically no performance change, no quality change. As far as I can tell, no change whatsoever. So. A lot of times when you upload a long or a large file or a long video, this process, uh, this preparation process can take upwards of 20, 30 minutes and it's kind of a pain because you know when you want to edit your video, you want to get in, edit, get out, publish it, upload it, be done. This process, this preparation process sort of puts a halt in that. So there is a way to disable this and I'm going to show you right here. So what you want to do is, is go to your movie maker, wherever you may have it on your desktop. I already have it up here. So I open it up and you should get a screen that looks like this. You should have a, uh, the preview screen and then uh, your timeline. I don't have anything in here right now. Obviously this is a uh, blank slate. Uh, but if I did, you'd see the video timeline here and then a preview of what the video actually is here. So with that being said, um, when you upload or import drag and drop is typically the way to do it. Uh, but when you do that, you're going to have a little bar that comes up down here that says preparing video. And it takes a long time to do that and it's just really, really annoying. So the way to disable that is to come up here, drop down menu, go to options. You're going to pop this up, movie maker options, a couple of different tabs here, but you want to come down here to advanced. And then here you have it, file preparation. Now this box will typically by default be checked. Uh, you want to go ahead and uncheck that and press OK. And what you'll have to do is you'll have to close out of this, restart the program, and reopen it. And once you reopen it, you're going to find that anything that you import into this, uh, this editor is going to immediately just render and it's going to be ready to go. So I'm going to show you an example here, just a quick video. I'm going to use this. I uh, can't drag and drop it through this, but I'm going to double click it. And boom, ready to go. I can edit it as I see fit. There we are. Set the endpoint if I wanted to, and then it's when you're ready to go, you can play it if you want. Easy stuff. Uh, you can put a transition if you want to, but you can uh, sort of explore that uh, when you use this program or if you use it. But that's it, and you'll notice that that little bar didn't pop up. Obviously, this was a short video or a short clip, so that you know wouldn't be a problem to begin with. But on longer videos, such as 40, 50 minute videos that can turn into a problem. And I'll show you that as well just uh, for clarification. This is a uh, this is a 40, almost 45 minute video. Boom, ready to go, already. So, I just did. it's rendered, playing, you can hear the audio, you can see the video. This is actually a video I plan on uploading uh, later on, but ready to rock and roll. So uh, yeah, pretty simple, easy process. Alrighty, well thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, if it helped you, give it a like, and subscribe to my channel for more videos, I'm going to be doing more uh, pretty soon, and it helps me out, so uh, everybody have a great day, and thank you for watching.